This fall, for the first time ever, a nuclear plant in the United States could operate without a license, and there's little that anyone can do about it. There are a lot of things that have to be gone through. There are a lot of things that are on the docket for NRC as well. So all of that needs to be um, thought about in terms of the process. The Indian Point Power Plant, located just 38 miles north of New York City, was commissioned in the mid-70s. One of two reactors at the nuclear plant will soon be operating with an expired license because of a complicated procedure for license renewals. There are a number of concerns that have existed with regard to that facility for a number of years. Obviously, the governor of New York State has been calling for its closure, uh, as have many other people within the state. And the power plant has received lots of publicity because it is so closely located to New York's dense population. Environmental groups plan to release their own safety reports on Indian Point with safety as a main concern. Activists have been trying to shut down the Indian Point power plant for years. They say its evacuation plans are severely inadequate. And they say that more safeguards need to be taken regarding the reactor's spent fuel. Experts say Americans should be concerned over the development surrounding the power plant and how many times the Nuclear Regulatory Commission has had to check up on the power plant's reactor. However, experts say they don't think Indian Point is headed for a nuclear meltdown, at least not yet. We would certainly hope not, but one never knows. And I think that everyone should be concerned after the um, repeated numbers of of incidents just that where NRC has had to come in. The license on Indian Point 2's reactor expires on September 28th. It will be one year before a decision is reached whether it will be extended for another 20 years. Colin Campbell, Press TV, Washington.